You're watching the news for South Mississippi. This is the 4 o'clock show. And thanks so much for staying with us here in the big show. It's graduation season all along the coast. But you know, graduating means one step closer to, to financial freedom, for better or worse. And joining us now to discuss the best tips for recent grads, business development specialist, Gretchen Reed over from Navigator Credit Union. Good to see you, Gretchen. Good to see you. Thanks for having and, me. And I think it's great that the uh, credit union is sponsoring a program like this. Yes, me too. I mean, it's so important to get the awareness out there. Absolutely. Okay, well, uh, let, let me talk a little bit about uh, the uh, programs that you have going on because you want to teach these kids, and I think kids in high school should start learning as early as possible about things like creating a budget. Absolutely. So it's important to know, especially with your first job, how much money you have coming in, how much money you have going out, you're graduating, maybe paying your first bills. It's important to be aware of that. And sir, uh, saving for emergencies. I know a 12th grader, probably the last thing on their mind is something like saving for emergencies, mm -hmm. but it's really critical and that's one of the things you're teaching in this program. Absolutely. You don't know when an emergency is going to happen, which is like the whole point of an emergency, right? So you have to be prepared for when that comes up. Understanding loans. I would venture to say that uh, seniors in high school probably, and many adults, don't understand the nuances of loans, don't understand what they're signing up for. Correct. So at the credit union, it's all about education. So you're getting your first loan. We want you to know exactly what you're getting into and how you can be successful in that. Yeah. Here's the big one, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's a growing problem, and that is credit debt in America. And if it's usually people in their 20s, they get their first credit card, they start racking up all this debt. So mm -hmm. you want to teach these high school seniors about being responsible with their credit cards. Exactly. So we don't get into those situations. So we have an emergency savings come. We're prepared for that with the emergency savings. We have our credit card, which is our extra, extra backup. And it helps us start building credit at a young age. So when you're ready to purchase a home, you'll have that credit already lined up. So you'll be ready to get a better interest rate. Yeah, you'll have a credit score. You yeah. have shown responsibility and paying back a loan, but you want to be careful with it though. Yes, you don't want to go yes. beyond your means. I always tell people one charge a month, get some gas with it, pay it off in full, and that's it. Yeah, that's all. That's always a good idea is to mm -hmm. pay it off in full. Mm -hmm. And then you have one here, again, saving for retirement is the last one here. Again, when I was in high school, I never even thought about that. Yeah, right. Most people don't. So, I mean, you set $10 aside for retirement. When you're ready to retire, that has going to accumulate it to be quite a bit. And you have programs over at the uh, credit union that yes. can get involved in investments, yep. uh, funds, or anything like that? Absolutely. We have a whole um, wealth management team that will help you set up an IRA in an individual retirement account that you just put a, you know 10 bucks in a month. You don't even know it's gone. And have you gone into the schools and, and talked to uh, seniors about this kind of thing? Or how can uh, the students find out about it? So you can stop into any of our local branches. Oh. We're in Gulfport, Moss Point, Pascagoula, all over on the coast, and then also through navigatorcu.org and then yes we're planning on going into the schools next year. Gretchen Reed from Navigator Credit Union. Good to see you Gretchen. Yes thank you Great so much. information and thanks for being with us on the show. Thank you.